Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another very exciting video. Today's video, yeah, I found this hat, found this hat in the car. In today's video, we are going to be turning this <laughs> into this. So yeah, as you guys know, last year I bought this Subaru 3GX. It's actually G3X. But the 3 and the X already fell off. It's 4x4. Four four. So this little shit box is actually 95% Suzuki. Actually, it's a Suzuki Ignis. And this one's got the 1300cc 16 valve engine, producing 100 horsepower. That's not much. But for a car that only weighs 950 kilograms, it's enough. It's all bought from AliExpress, so this stuff was actually pretty cheap. We got a very long light bar, LED bar. I only played like 60 bucks for it, or even 50 bucks. It was pretty goddamn cheap. So we got some badges, we got some stuff we need for the electrical wiring. Uh, yeah, we got, yeah, I don't know. We got some more stickers, we got some uh, rally headlights, and of course we got the five horsepower Subaru sticker. And last but not least, whoop, we got the tires, baby. Oh yeah, and they are, yeah. Let's get to work. <laughs> and as of today, it started leaking oil. Great success. This might be my most excited project of the year. <laughs> Load this thing. Now I do wonder, if we start it up and put it into first gear with all the wheels off the ground, are all four wheels going to spin or just the front ones or the rear ones or... Oh lord. Yeah. Now, I'm not really a good mechanic, but I thought that a 4x4... Four four... Yeah. Uh, yeah, so maybe if I hold down this wheel just a little bit, the back starts spinning, nothing happens. Something might be wrong with that. It's back. <laughs> These things are on their tight. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Uh oh, this is rusted as hell. Oh, I just can—I can hear the rust. <laughs> yeah, that's—we got a problem. So yeah, that's what you get from being a little bit too friendly and trusting people from the internet. Those wheels would fit perfectly on your Subaru, on your Suzuki, would work perfectly. Absolutely does not fit. So I'm gonna have to try it with, uh, gonna have to try it with these guys. One eternity later. Now I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but it is already the next day. I'm wearing the same clothes and even the same underwear. Anyway, you got it figured out. Just that turned the wheels inside out. And it works like that. Looks pretty dope, though. Now, I'm not really sure how legal this is, but... Looks good to me. Ah, I'm out of battery. Now, light bar, yeah, LED, the big one. I paid 65 euros for it, 65 bucks, all the way out of China. The one on my chimney, it's about 900. 
that's an Osram light bar. That's a pretty expensive one. The other one's 65, this one 900. Now this puppy is about one meter long. And like I said, I paid 65 bucks for it, 65 euros, including shipping, free shipping. And then I got like this big ass wiring harness. I paid seven bucks for it, seven euros. I think it even got a switch and a relay for seven bucks. That's a steal. <laughs> now, if you want to put some wires into your interior, most of the time there's like a rubbery, rubbery part like that one you see over there just gonna make a little circumcision here just like that we got it inside have to find a place it's not even a five minute job look at that Already wired up, use some tape, glued it down the window, just as the pros do, right? Anyway, let's hook it up and let's see how bright it is. For 65 bucks. Now that is looking absolutely fine. You only have two more things to do, and these are the most important ones. This little thing will absolutely save your life. It's a thermometer, it's a hygrometer, and it's a compass. So you can keep going north, or south, 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 south. God dang it. And then behold. Samurai action, boys. As a future rail driver, it is very important we can shift absolutely razor sharp. Look at that. This is going to be the quickest gear shifts this bar has ever seen. Fifth gear. Looks kind of weird, though. Yeah. Now, last but not least, it's really important to let your competition think that you're really fast, but actually you're not. So they take a lot more risks first corner. They might crash and you might win. So we got the 4x4 badge, we got the limited badge, and I got another badge for the other side. This is like the weirdest sticker ever. Oh man, I really screwed up the D here. I'm screwing up the D. Oh boy, what's happening? Yeah, buddy. And last but the very least, making the competition think it's the Suzuki. Combined with the Subaru logo, they know this is not a car to mess with. Now, for some reason, I'm not sure what you guys think, but I absolutely love this little monster. And normally on this Sunday, 
we have a rally cross going on at my friend's field. So we're gonna put some jumps in there with a crane, with an excavator. We're gonna do some jumping and some racing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. You like it, you don't like it. Anyway, see you guys next one. Peace.